Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight. And as promised, I'm back with part two of customizing uh, Antics. I uh, did a basic setup and a Wi-Fi uh, setup in my last video. Tonight I'm going to take my the same live USB stick. And if you watch my previous video, you'll see that this is the changes. This is the desktop where we left it. And I'm going to change it to a different desktop and do a little customization for my own use. Now, personally, I like rocks. Um, I often use rocks, but I'm going to switch over to the Space Fluxbox desktop uh, and customize that. So, the first thing I'm going to do, number one, is I'm going to change desktops. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. If you're on the live USB, you can actually choose a desktop. I'll throw a little graphic here. So, as you can see, there's a graphic, there's a menu. It, I'm showing you the legacy boot menus. If you're using a UEFI, just use the custom boot option and there will be a series of menus that will be presented to you so you can choose your um, uh, options that way, your desktop options that way. So anyway, I'm, but there's no way to do it. We don't have to even log out. We can go down here to the menu and go to desktop and we can choose our other desktop. So I'm going to choose Space Fluxbox. And now we're going to switch over, and hopefully we're all coming back online. You see the other, this is the usual default wallpaper. Our conky's back. Uh, we're here, we're going to do a little maintenance to this real quick. We're going to put this on top so it doesn't go away. Okay, so we're back here. We're still recording, so that's good. We've made the change. Uh, if you see what's happened is, you'll go to File Manager, and you'll see now it is the Space FM File Manager rather than rocks filer a lot of people find this a little more it's a little more traditional in this case the de unlock with rocks which is just like a link of of icons uh the space des fm desktop which is what's running right now is a traditional desktop home folder so it's a little different uh if you want to add things to the desktop we'll come back to that in just a minute we'll come back to space fm in just a minute i've done other videos on space fm so check those out on my channel if you want to see about customizing space fm First off, I love the Metro. I want a different wallpaper. So back to Control Center, you can see things are in the same place between ISWM and Fluxbox. This is the antics method for the three window, actually four window managers, but the three uh, non-tiling window managers that come with Antix Full. This is how it works. So I'm gonna choose a different wallpaper. And I again, I the, the, the Antix ones are fine, but I have some stashed on the USB already. And I think I'll go with Calvin and you know what? I'm not gonna go with Calvin Hobbs just because. Uh what am I gonna do? I'm going to go with <sighs> the clock? The back of the clock, the old Dalek. Oh, you know what? I love this Doctor Who this uh kind of rusty old Doctor Who wall TARDIS wallpaper. So we'll take that. So this I, I think this goes good with the yellow theme from uh, Fluxbox. So for Fluxbox, and of course Fluxbox being the window manager that's in use, you get you got this little toolbar down here. You got a system tray. I got YCD operating. Remember we set that up in the last video. Uh, the help icon still works here, but it, everything's single click. I don't. I'm not a really big fan of single click. So what I'm going to do is, this is controlled by Space to FM Desktop, so I'm going to go into the Desktop Settings. Now how you get into the Desktop Settings, if you right click out here, you're going to get the Fluxbox menu. Click on an icon and choose it from there. That will let you get to the Space FM set Settings. You can also do this from inside the File Manager. If you don't have any icons on your desktop, you can get to the Preferences from here. So I'm going to unclick this. You can see the Doctor Who wallpaper was set up up here already. So uh, you can also do it manually here, but the Antics wallpaper app changes it everywhere for the window managers that's included. Uh, let's see, advanced. Okay, I've got a little editor. I'm going to put a percent %F there just in case. So my editor is set to leaf pad for the root. Editor and on the interface, uh, whatever, that's fine. In general, this is icon sizes and things, so I'm going to leave all that. Oh, file is single click opens files. I, I, I'm just not a single click guy. I don't want to single click in the file manager. I don't want to single click on the desktop. This is the same kind of issue that I have with XFCE. Uh, since I changed something on the root level, it's going to ask for a root password, so I've done that. It actually changes the configuration of Space FM and root, root user configuration. So, at any rate, that gets us 
now I have single click okay so what if I want to put a link on the desktop well you can do a right click and say new and you can say a new fi file or folder and you can also say a link or a desktop application and you can choose from this list so let's say I want to put um, oh let's put the backlight brightness on there there we go so now I can click I can double click this icon and I can get the antics backlight brightness control utility written by bitjam um, it was very nice and it's a uh, nice to have it right there on the desktop if I want to use it okay so the other thing I like to do on the Fluxbox desktop now I already like the yellow but if you want to change uh, the Fluxbox default theme again it's the same deal as with ISWM you've got the GTK themes you got the icon themes and then you got the Fluxbox themes but in Fluxbox terminology they call them styles and there's a lot of things you can do but with styles there's all kinds of themes in here uh, and you know what? Most of them look pretty good. I think the Fluxbox themes look a little bit sharper than the ISW themes. I think Fluxbox is aging a little better than, Flu than ISWM. And honestly, Fluxbox is one of the th window managers that I used when I first came to Linux back with Ubuntu 6.04. And Fluxbox is actually the reason that I ended up over at Annex because this used to be the default window manager for Annex back in the day. So I can go blue flux here. You can see everything changes. I don't like that one so much. Uh, let's see, Ruben. No, 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 no. Antics Radiant. That is one we're using. We see we have different font sizes is what these large and mediums and smalls are. Uh, Royal Blue is pretty nice. I like that one. Uh, I'm going to leave the yellow because, quite frankly, I'm kind of partial to the, to the yellow. So one of the other things I like to do when I test out a new window manager is to see if when I hit the menu key, if the menu comes up, if you can hear me clicking, it's not coming up. By default, Fluxbox is really right-click oriented, okay, right-click menu. However, you can make the root menu come up. I think it's all escape, let's see. Now, I don't remember, so let's check the control panel. And we're going to go into Fluxbox settings. And you can see there's also JWM and ISWM settings. Each of them have their own little configurations. If you want to get in-depth into customizing your window manager experience, check out the uh, the facts and the FAQs and the wikis for these. A lot of them are included right in the menu. Uh, Fluxbox settings, we've got help, Fluxbox, antics, applications, all sorts of things here. Uh, at any rate, I'm going to click on the Fluxbox settings and we'll look at the keys. And I am going to search with find for the root menu which is what they call it and on the desktop mouse button 3 mod 1 R so that would be alt 1 R yeah it's alt 1 R I am never gonna remember alt 1 R I'm just not going to so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my own key and the left window button the menu button for most systems some systems called the windows button whatever the button you hit to get the window to get the menu is the super L button in, in our in our uh, terminology and I'm just going to add this little root menu thing right here super underscore L colon root menu save and now I think if I restart Fluxbox that will take an account a lot of times when you change a text file configuration you have to restart to what WM this isn't you don't have to log in log out we're just going to go down here to Fluxbox settings and hit the restart key hey look I even I'm even still recording and everything so let's see we hit the button now and there's our menu fantastic and we can navigate it with the keys and we hit escape to get rid of it great all right so that's super so what about the toolbar down here well the toolbar doesn't have a window Fluxbox is a right-click desktop oriented guy and I actually like to keep my my bar set to 80 percent here so that I can always click down here in the space and get the menu but what it, but with the Windows key I don't really it doesn't really matter and some people just like a menu button. Now this isn't my bag, but I'm going to show you how to add the uh, menu button. So we're going to go into those Fluxbox settings again. Control panel, Fluxbox settings, and on the init tab, now this is where you really get into some some crazy stuff. Oh, you know what? One thing that did go away was that my my face is no longer on the top layer when we restarted uh, Fluxbox. There we go. So we'll pull Fluxbox back up. So down here it says Workspace. This is what defines what's on the toolbar, this toolbar.tools tab. And you can see all the things, Workspace name. 
you got previous and next workspaces here. You got the uh, icon bar, which is the you know the task list. That's what we're going to call it. You got the system tray over here, and previous windows, next window, and the clock. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add. Uh, I think it's root menu if I remember correctly. Control save. Now we're going to restart. I hope that's correct. It is. And I'm going to put myself back on top. That's the last time I'm going to restart Fluxbox tonight. And you see now there is a menu button on the toolbar. <laughs> it may or may not be an Annex exclusive. I don't know. I've never seen a Fluxbox set up with a menu on the toolbar. But there it is. And now you can have it. And now if you want to set the the um, the width to uh, and it's left click makes it get smaller right click makes it get bigger well now if it's set to 100% you can still get to the menu without a, a without a um, uh, space on the desktop so this is a really great uh, feature for those of us that uh, like to fill that bar all the way across the bottom of the screen plus I think it just looks better to fill in the gaps so this is that's the basics of how I set up my Fluxbox uh, live USB stick. Everything else is, uh, and I do like to have the brightness tab on here so I can get to it if I need to. Because every now and then, if you boot Legacy versus UAFI, <laughs> the brightness will be inverted. So you'll get, um, this is especially true on ThinkPads, you boot in Legacy, it's the, the numbers go one way. If you boot UAFI, they go the other. So whatever your brightness value is, if you were booting Legacy, and the next time you boot up UAFI, you might get dark instead of light, or vice versa. Uh, so I like to have that brightness control handy so that I can get to it. Uh, again, the uh, the mixer here is the also mixer, but it's not really useful now that we have Pulse Audio installed. So we can change that to the uh, uh, PavView control if we would like. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. There's one problem with Fluxbox is it does have kind of small icons. Preferences, let's see, external... Uh, mix uh, external application. We want PavView control. That's the Pulse Audio controller. And now when we click that, open mixer. Now we got PavView control, and you can see me popping right away there on the microphone. One other thing we're going to do, we're going to enable the media keys, and they're right here on the hotkeys down at the bottom. They're not enabled by default because there are some setups for an ISWM and a Fluxbox and a JWM for media keys to use. Check out those keys files. They're very interesting. Uh, but I'm going to turn those on so that I can use my my button. And let's see. Is there a note of... I don't think this version of of, um, of volume icon has a, has a visual display except for the slider down here like this. Okay. So that is a big change. That's most of how I set up stuff. Everything else is just simply uh, installing apps and doing the remaster, and I've done videos on that already. So there you go, a quick and dirty way to set up your Fluxbox desktop. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to AnnexLinux.com or throw a post at www.annexforums.com. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.